The man you see on screen, Ben Davison, is the main reason why Derek Chisora believes that Anthony Joshua would now beat Tyson Fury should they meet in the ring. And not only that, but he also believes that Anthony Joshua would also beat Alexander Usyk within six rounds if they were to rematch again, and he's putting it all down to Ben Davison. So with Tyson Fury, he's essentially saying that AJ's got some ferociousness built up with him, and Ben Davison knows Tyson Fury, and now that AJ's basically throwing more punches, essentially he would beat Tyson Fury. Now this is kind of interesting to me because obviously Tyson Fury has beaten Derek Chisora three times. Two of them like were beatdowns were very convincing. The first one was a little bit more competitive but Tyson Fury well and truly has Derek Chisora's number. There's no two ways about that. And you would have thought that with someone beating him three times you would have thought that maybe he would have leaned towards Tyson Fury beating Anthony Joshua. But at the same time AJ kind of looks up to Derek Chisora as a big brother so he's going to say what he's going to say and have kind words towards Anthony Joshua that's kind of the way it is so you'd expect Derek Chisora to be complimentary of Anthony Joshua and as someone who's in the sport he's obviously read the situation as well when he believes that Anthony Joshua is back with Ben Davison because a lot of fans are saying that Anthony Joshua is now back a lot of fans are saying that Anthony Joshua now beats Tyson Fury it's not a new concept that Derek Chisora is putting out there ever since AJ's pretty much beaten Otto Wallin and then Francis Ngannou everyone's saying that he's now back in that fight with Tyson Fury well I say everyone I mean there's a lot of people who are of that opinion and obviously Derek Chisora has kind of jumped on that bandwagon so there's a lot of people saying that Anthony Joshua is now in the fight with Tyson Fury for me he was always in the fight with Tyson Fury even now with Tyson Fury not performing great in his last few fights I would still favor him against Anthony Joshua I know he's throwing his right hand again and he's done boxing a favour by beating Francis Ngannou but if everyone takes their goggles off for a minute the four guys that he beat were essentially journeymen. Now I understand that he needed the journeyman to get his confidence back and now his confidence back he's a different fighter I get that and I also get the argument for people saying that he's a live dog in there against Tyson Fury he absolutely is and he's even more of a threat now that he's throwing that right hand. I can kind of understand why Derek Chisora would say that about Tyson Fury. I get that that's the consensus out there, or at least one of the consensus is out there, but at the end of the day, it's the reality of the situation, and people are out there saying that Anthony Joshua is now in this fight, because after Anthony Joshua lost to Alexander Usyk, or even before that, to be honest with you, people were saying that Tyson Fury all day long, or at least there was a lot of people out there saying that Tyson Fury was going to win that fight. Now it seems a lot more even, and that's as a result of Tyson Fury and his poor performances coinciding with AJ on this little four-man journeyman streak. But people are going to say, well, AJ's opposition wasn't that high. It didn't need to be a high-level opposition for Anthony Joshua to get his confidence back. It needed to be actually exactly what it was. Four journeyman bums for him to go in there, bowl over, get his confidence back so he can go into a fight with a real contender and emulate what he was doing against the bums. So he ticked all the right boxes, he's done all the right things. And now that he's back in the top picture, people see him there. It's right that they can compare him to Tyson Fury and say he's got a chance against Fury. He's in this fight, blah, blah, blah. Again, I personally don't believe it. I still have Fury as the favourite for that fight. But I understand if there's a view out there that AJ can now beat Tyson Fury or AJ is the favourite going into that fight or whatever. I understand that view because obviously Tyson Fury hasn't done himself any favours recently. And AJ has been looking good. I'm not ignorant. I can see the situation. I've got to read the whole playbook and it is what it is. Like... The way it's transpired, people are right to believe that Anthony Joshua is now back at the top table and they're right to believe that he's a live wire in a Tyson Fury fight. That being said, I can understand that part of it, but Alexander Usyk, AJ's going to beat Alexander Usyk within six rounds. Where's that coming from? Like, Who is saying that? Why are they saying that? Like, I can understand the Tyson Fury thing. People are echoing that. But who out there is saying that off the back of these four journeymen that Anthony Joshua beats, that somehow this new star or him throwing a few more punches... He's going to get him across the line versus Alexander Usyk in six rounds or less. So not only is he going to beat him, but he's going to knock Alexander Usyk out. That's just like came out of nowhere for me. And I can't see that in any way, shape or form. I don't care if you're AJ Hardcore. How are you going to justify that sudden shift in attitude? Do you know what I mean? Going from losing to a guy twice to suddenly thinking he's going to beat him within six rounds. That makes no sense to me whatsoever. I almost believe in like, if you've had two chances to fight someone or it was fair and square or whatever and you went in there and you fell short twice, three times, four times, whatever, at some point you will accept that you're just in against a better man and you bow your head and you're like, this guy's just got my number. A bit like Tyson Fury, how he's got Derek Chisora's number. They could fight a hundred times and a hundred times or maybe 99 times Tyson Fury's going to win that fight. And I think we've Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk is a very similar situation. There's only so much Anthony Joshua could do with his frame. I get fair enough, he can throw a few more punches, but you try throwing more punches against Alexander Usyk, see how that works out for you. It's all good doing that against Otto Wallin and looking good with Otto Wallin fighting scared. When you've got a live wire in front of you, it's not as easy. AJ could have thrown punches in 
his first and his second fight, he knows how to throw a punch. He just couldn't do it. It's Alexander Usyk negating what AJ was doing, essentially. So I don't think it will make any difference whatsoever if they were to have a third fight. He could have Ben Davison with him. He could have Emmanuel Stewart in his corner. He can have Angelo Dundee. I don't think it makes any difference whatsoever. I think Anti Joshua's number is well and truly got owned by Alexander Usyk. And they could fight as many times as they want. And nine times out of ten, Alexander Usyk is going to win that fight regardless of what Derek Shazor is telling you. That's all I got for this one, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, or don't. I'll catch you on the next one. Love.